Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Uh, today we're gonna go over a new uh, fertilizer spreader that we purchased. We'll go over, I got it hooked on the tractor here, but we'll go over how it how it connects. And uh, all right, we purchased this spreader from uh, Rural King. Uh, we have a tractor supply in a Rural King nearby. Um, so, I like the one at Rural King a little better. Uh, it has the poly, the poly drum here, as you can see. Um, I, th I think that's gonna be better. Um, just from a corrosion standpoint, but I'm also a little worried about the plastic drying out, cracking. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if that was a good choice or not. Uh, the model number on this, I believe it's an 850 pound capacity. The model number is right over here. S400. I believe the P is for poly. Um, it did come with a PTO shaft, as you can see here. Um, and it did work on my tractor here this one without having to cut the shaft so i got about when it's straight like it is there i got about four inches of uh clearance that it could still collapse if needed this did not come with a stainless steel uh spinner um it looked like some of the ones i had online looked like they had a, a stainless spinner but i cannot find one at a store that did and then uh even the ones online, those pictures showed it, but the specifications did not. So I'm not sure whether they actually had one. I would have liked that feature, but uh, we'll just keep up with this one. Um, just making sure we hose it down good when we're done and then uh, either keep some oil on it or keep it painted or whatever we need. I'm gonna try and make this last a long time, so. It has a standard two, two opening doors uh, to allow the, the fertilizer or the material to come out. Same thing has has two handles, they, they're locked together now, they could be separated. I did spend some time adjusting, you can see the, the adjustment nuts there on the doors. Um, I did spend some time adjusting those. Um, there's nothing in the manual about it, but I didn't like where they were at. They Basically, they stayed closed for half the travel of the arm. So we, we got those adjusted to where really no material leaks out. You can see a little bit there, but very little to no material leaks out. And then uh, they do open what I think is more correctly. I did already have fertilizer put in this. Um, so I, I'll show you the the agitator inside the drum here when we get this spread. But uh, like I said, it's, I believe it's an 840 or 850 pound capacity. And there is about 250 pounds of fertilizer, lime mixture in here now. Um, so with this with this type of fertilizer, you're not going to get 840 pounds in this spreader, um, but it is a pretty good capacity for what it is for a small three-point spreader. As far as adjustments, there's not really a whole lot on it. Um, I have the the top link on the three-point adjusted, so it's just pitched ever so slightly towards the tractor. Um, that'll just help, I believe, when it gets low for the for the material to come out more easily. Uh, sorry about the wind. That there's not really much adjustment on it. Like I mentioned already, I adjusted the the opening gates for the for the hopper itself. As far as maintenance, uh, we talked about already the you know the metal spinner here. It's going to need just kept up with so so corrosion doesn't doesn't cause any issues. Um, grease points you see here on this gearbox. Uh, there is a there is a grease point on that gearbox. Uh, the manual said for the initial greasing to put about 35 shots of grease in it um, and then every eight hours and I believe it was three to five more shots of grease so I got the 35 or so in there now um, after I run it I'll put a little more in and then there's just the two standard grease syrups obviously on the on the universals on the uh, power takeoff shaft but other than that there's not really much maintenance wise here now my biggest worry is really just corrosion so I mean, most of these they don't do a great job with paint as you can see I mean they spray it but down inside down inside these areas the camera's not picking it up but the paint coverage is not very good there's already some scratches on it just from shipping um, so I'm just gonna try hard to keep up with it and just just watch with the courage and with fertilizer obviously anything that's not treated it'll corrode quickly so it's gonna do the best I can with that to try and make it last as long as possible one of the reasons we went with just a a small three-point hitch type spreader for fertilizer is I want to be able to use this on the on the BX also um, 
to just spread some fertilizer in the in the yard um, around our house and in some other areas like that um, i want something that we can put on a on a lighter weight tractor um, just not to have not to have any rutting or compaction issues so obviously i will not on the bx i would not be filling this up to capacity or probably not much over 300 pounds or so of uh, fertilizer in it so Right there, it has, like I said, I think that's 240, 250 pounds of fertilizer. Um, so that would probably be about the max, really, that I would put in it when I, if I have it on the BX. So that'll be another, I'll probably do another video at some point. I don't know when I'll put it on that tractor, but I'll have to check and see, um, obviously, the length of the PTO shaft. If it would require me to cut the PTO shaft, I don't know if I would do that. Um, depends how much it would take that I would have to cut off. So that'd be... If it was a small amount, I'd probably go ahead and do it because I do have some extra on this, but if it required cutting too much, I would not. So we'll do another video on that. This does have a chart on it uh, for spreading for different kinds of, you know, like a granular, granular has a triple 12, uh, urea, and then it has different, uh, different seeds also. Um, shows you your tractor speed and then on those on the handles has uh, numbered openings so the only thing I've noticed so far on there is I'm not sure that the the numbered openings that they show is actually gonna be accurate to to what is really gonna open um, like I mentioned I already I did adjust those um, what I was looking at for spreading this fertilizer was going to what they call number four opening which would be on this which would be opening it to to this hole here, um, where the where the gates were set from the factory or from assembly at Royal King, wherever that was done, um, that didn't even open up. I'm sure material would have come out, but they were not actually open, so it it wouldn't have matched what was on the chart. So I'm going to do some some testing here, see where where I currently have it set, what that's like, and then I might I might try and adjust those those gates again if I have. If I have them opening more than what the chart's showing, then I'm gonna try and do some adjustments to try and get it closer to the chart. It would be nice to be able to use that uh, for, diff for different things, just be able to glance at it and get a setting. So I think that's all for now on the spreader itself. Uh, if anyone has any questions on it or anything they'd like to see or any details about it they'd like to, uh, to know that I didn't mention, uh, just drop a comment below. Um, like I said, it's a pretty basic, pretty basic spreader. So. We'll probably do another video here on uh, on actually spreading fertilizer. I want to get uh, my hay fields done, uh, the hay field over my dad's place, and then uh, get fertilizer spread on part of the sweet corn field, uh, at least the part that we're going to plant here soon. So I think that's all for today. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.